Hi, my name is Hillary. I am a technician at the Veterinary Dermatology Center, and you're watching this video because we have prescribed um, Fortaz or Ceftaz antibiotic injections for your dog. Um, what I'm gonna go over is uh, the supplies that you have been sent home with, and then how to reconstitute the medication. It comes in powdered form, and you'll need to make it in liquid form. Um, and then there will be our next video. We'll show you how to actually give the injections. Um, so, um, you're probably going home with a box that looks like this. It is going to have uh, the bottles of liquid. Um, you'll have a different amount varying on the size of your dog and the prescription uh, that has been made for your pet. You are going to have uh, sterile water. This is what you're going to use to make that powder into liquid. You will have a remixing kit, and that's just about five or ten um, syringes with needles. These can be reused every time you remix a bottle of the Fortaz, so these uh, you can be reused, and so you only have a few of them. You're going to have a full bag of uh, syringes with needles and a separate set of needles, and that's because when you give the injection, you're going to use a separate syringe and needle for each of the injections. And then you're also going to have a sharps container, and this is so that you can appropriately dispose of those needles. Um, when you get the sharps container, you're going to want to go ahead and push the top down until you fill them all click. Um, and when you dispose of the needle, you wanna make sure you just dispose of the needle and not the entire syringe, as you'll be giving multiple injections and this will not hold all of the syringes. When you close this, just shut it down. Do not close this little flap. Don't tuck it in here. Once you've tucked it in, this thing is permanently closed, okay? Um, when you're done with these injections, you can take this to a firehouse. They'll be able to dispose of it for you. Um, so the next thing I'm gonna go over is how to reconstitute the injections. Um, some you'll see come with blue lids. Some may also come with red lids. It's the same product. It's just different brands depending on where we've bought it. Um, in order to reconstitute, uh, the first thing you're going to do is open your sterile water. And I have an open one right here. You are going to open a 5cc syringe. So you can just peel it open like that. And then you're going to stick an 18 gauge needle. And this is a bigger needle. That just makes it easier for you to remix. Hold on to this because you're going to use this every day when you remix your injectable. Pull off the lid stick the needle into the rubber lid of your sterile water and turn it upside down. And then you're gonna draw up three milliliters of liquid. I like to overshoot and then go back to the three milliliter line. And if you get some bubbles, just tap it out. And that's just gonna ensure the accuracy of your measurement. You're going to close this and set it aside. If you need to recap your needle at any point for everyone's safety, use the single-handed method. So lay your cap uh, flat on the table, cover the needle with one hand, and once it's safely covered, then, ish, then finish recapping your needle. The reason for that is doing this is the easiest way to poke yourself and that hurts. When you're ready to actually reconstitute the mixture, you are going to just pop off this lid and that can be disposed of in the trash. You will need a venting needle. So you're gonna use two needles for this process. The reason for that is this is a pressure, a pressure packed. And so if you try to put uh, your sterile water in there without a venting needle, it's gonna be really hard to push down and will try to push back on you. Um, so putting in your venting needle, you're going to put in your second needle with uh, the water, the three milliliters of water, and just push it down with even pressure. And then you can reuse this. So I would just use your safe recapping method and hold on to that for the next time you need to mix up your Fortaz. You wanna leave your venting needle in the Fortaz bottle until it's completely mixed. And so you might have to turn it around and swirl it around. It's gonna take a little bit of time and a little bit of work on your part. You may have to tap it, swirl it. I wouldn't shake it too vigorously. You're gonna get a lot of air bubbles out of this, but you do wanna make sure you get the, all the powder that is in this um, into uh, liquid form. And you'll see that it bubbles out the top. That's why we have the venting needle so it can release the pressure. And you just wanna keep at this gently until you notice that there are no clumps of powder left in your bottle. 
This mixture, once it is mixed up, you need to use it immediately and any part of it that you do not use then needs to be stored in the refrigerator. So your bottles with just the powder in them can stay out at room temperature. Um, when it is, it, once it's in liquid form, it needs to be kept in the refrigerator um, between doses. This injectable is going to be given twice daily, depending on the size of your dog. You may use only a part of this bottle and then put the rest in the fridge until your second injection that day. You may use up this entire bottle for one injection. And for really large dogs, you may have to make a bottle and a second bottle to get your full dose. Um, and uh, that will be prescribed to you and make sure that you're clear on your dose um, by the technician who reviews your prescription. Um, when you dispose of it, again, when you're done giving the injection, make sure that you just twist off the needle um, and you put it into uh, the sharps container. When you're actually ready to give the injection, pull out your venting needle and then use your single capping method to make sure that you safely cap it. And then you can hold on to this because you can vent with it again. And then now actually drawing up the injection. This is where we're gonna use a fresh needle and syringe every single time. You do not want to reuse in, uh, syringes or needles for this portion. So you've been given a whole bunch here. You probably have um, a syringe that looks like that with a needle attached with um, some extra 22 gauge needles. If you have a larger dog, you may be given a syringe, a 5cc syringe that looks like this um, with some larger needles. We use a larger needle for these injections because it helps it go a little bit faster and that's actually less painful for your pet. Um, when you're ready to draw up your mixture, you'll peel open one of your syringes. If you have a 5cc syringe, go ahead and put a fresh needle on it. You'll open it up and you'll stick it into the top of your rubber lid of your now reconstituted bottle of Fortas. Turn it upside down and I want to pull the needle fairly close to the bottom. So if you stick it all the way up like this, you'll just be drawing up air. But if you want to hold it a little bit lower so that you can get the full contents of the bottle, that way you won't waste anything that's left. In this example, I'm going to do a one and a half milliliter injection. You'll see that I pull up lots of bubbles. So I'm just gonna kind of give it some time to get the bubbles out. You can tap it to kind of help release some of those bubbles. Um, so you wanna tap out most of your bu bubbles. And again, that's not because it's dangerous to give with bubbles in it, it's because it'll make it a more accurate measure to make sure you're giving the full amount. So you see here, it took a little patience and a little work on my time, uh, on my part. But at this point, I have one and a half milliliters drawn up. I want to recap my needle. And this is going to twist off if you have a 3cc syringe or it'll just pull off if you have a 5cc syringe. And then I want to put on a fresh needle. And you can kind of just pop it through or you can peel it open and you'll twist it on your 3cc syringe or place it firmly on your 5cc syringe. The reason we use a fresh needle is because this is going to be nice and sharp and that's going to actually be less painful for your pet as well. Um, so at this point, that concludes how to actually reconstitute the Fortas injections and draw up your dose. Please watch the next video to show how to physically administer the injection. At any point during this process, if you have questions, please do not hesitate to call us. We are always happy to help you by phone and good luck. I'll see you in the next video.